because I have a lot of things I need to talk about. Um, this last month has been a very good one. I'm like really, really starting to see like major off-scale results. Not so much on-scale results because um, I had a stall there for a little while, but um, I'm going to be taking care of that, which I'll tell you about in a minute. Okay, so... I went to Texas, it was mm, the first weekend in May, yeah I guess it was the first weekend in May, um, my grandma moved out there, she's not really my grandma, I've seen her in videos, um, but she's like my grandma, um, she's moving out there which is really really sad, but um, we had a good time, I drove her out there and then we flew back and I was really nervous about flying just because I've always had to wear a seatbelt extender and I've, you know, it's just, it's so measurable and uncomfortable flying as, you know, a larger person. So I was nervous about it, but I got some great news. I did not have to have a seatbelt extender. Oh my god, I cried. I cried. I buckled the seatbelt and I was just... I was so happy. That hasn't happened for a really long time. Um, another thing, I am seven pounds away from my driver's license weight. Nobody ever puts the real weight on the driver's license and I sure as hell didn't. So, um, as you guys know, I started off at 356 pounds. Um, the day of surgery, I was 331.4, and today, at two months out, I am 287, so I have 280 on my driver's license, and once I hit 280, that's like, that's like my next little goal, is hitting 280, I'm going to be so excited. And then to be smaller than my driver's license weight is going to be crazy. Um, but... Let's see, since last month, last month, um, on this day, I weighed 301.6, and today I weighed 287, so that's, um, for the month, it's a loss of, like, 15 pounds, which is not as good as I was hoping for, but it's a loss, and my surgeon said I was going to have a stall anyway, so, um, but since surgery, I've lost um, about 44-ish, 44 pounds in two months, so that's pretty good, I guess. Um, okay, another thing. Guess what I did last night? First time for a long time. Um, I went to the gym. We, um, are going to make it like a family thing. Uh, my mom and my brother and I, um, went last night to, um, um, my mom, my brother, and I went to, uh, check out a gym. We've got, like, a seven-day pass, I think. Um, we're gonna check it out. There's a couple in the area. Um, this one's only open till 11. I would prefer one that was open 24 hours, but, um, we're just gonna check out a couple and see which one we want to go to. So, we're going to the gym now. Last night was my first night. I did a mile and a half on the treadmill a half a mile on the elliptical, and a half a mile on the bike. So, like two and a half miles on my first day. And I felt great today. I wasn't sore at all. Um, so 
so we'll see how that goes. We're going to vote tonight, too, so after the Biggest Loser finale, woohoo! I'm voting for Mike. I hope Mike gets it. I hope it's not Tara because I can't stand her. Okay, um... Uh, oh, oh, okay, like only the biggest, coolest thing that happened to me today, I almost forgot. I know some of you plus size people out there can totally relate to what I'm about to say. Um, I started this journey and I was like, I was in a, maybe a 28, um, but mostly like a 30, 32 in like jean like I have um I have a pair of 30s and I have a pair of 28s and now like the 28s are just falling off me literally so um my brother gave me some of his old belts I haven't worn a belt since fifth grade last time I wore a belt I was in fifth grade we had a tornado drill because this is back in St. Louis we had a tornado drill and we had to get in the hallway and duck and cover, you know, you know how it goes. And it was dead silent. And all of a sudden you hear, pop! Everyone turned around and realized it was me. My belt had popped off of me. Because I was too big for a belt. Really, I didn't need one. So that was the last time I've ever worn a belt. Um, and now I'm having to borrow some from my brother because I sure as hell don't have any belt. So, um, that's a good thing. Um, another good thing, though, today, I didn't really, I haven't really actually tried on any clothes since this whole thing started, um, at the stores, you know. Um, so today we were at Walmart, and I was like, I really, I just want to try on some clothes to get, you know, a really good idea of what size I am because I have no idea and I don't know about you guys but Walmart plus size clothing I'm sorry but I even when I was like a 28 26 28 or 30 32 I could never fit in the Walmart clothes because my chest was too big or my stomach or and I just very rarely found something that I could wear at Walmart and I sure as heck could never wear their pants because their pants always ran really small for me. Um, I think I found one pair that was like stretchy material and it still didn't even look that good. So I, the largest size in the plus size jeans that they have is 26. So I was thinking I'm going to try this on and even if I could just fit in it, it's going to be great because I've never been able to fit in the Walmart jeans. So I tried them on and they fit. Then I got to looking at them and realized, you know what, these are going to be too big here in just a week or two even. So guess what size I ended up buying? Can you see that? This is 24. This is a Walmart 24 jeans in the Walmart brand. Just my size. I don't even remember the last time I was in a 24. Like it seriously was high school at least. Early high school. Sophomore year? Maybe? sophomore, junior year, freshman even, I don't even remember, but it was over 10 years ago since I have been that size. <sighs> Once again, I got a little choked up and cried a little bit in Walmart. <laughs> I tried on a whole bunch of shirts too, and actually I got, I got a couple of shirts. Oh, sorry, that's my timer. I got a couple of shirts um, on clearance, on the clearance rack, because I know they're going to be too big here shortly, but I tried on a couple of their shirts, and they were too big, and that never happened. I was like, Mom, this one's too big. Oh, I still got a tag on. <laughs> Why do you guys tell me? Jeez. I got a tag on. This is a new shirt, too. 
I haven't worn this one except for, for the picture that I'm going to show you. So, um, I took a picture of me and my jeans. They're snug. I'm not going to say they're loose. They are, they are snug. They're not uncomfortable. They're just, they're tight. But I know, like, within the next week or two, three, maybe, they're going to be fitting just perfect. So, the fact that I got them buttoned and zipped and they weren't cutting off my circulation, that's a really big deal to me. Thank you to all my new subscribers, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.